full barrage and the, the guiding winds combo. I'm wondering if they're going to lock that in. Um, we haven't really seen Ixia a whole lot in games of future so far, but it is still a pretty viable pick. Trades pretty well, and with Claude gone, um, I'm wondering exactly what they want to pick. Does Or do they go like full speed here? Oh, Maybe finally AP lock in the one one. They could go for the Brody as well. I mean, pretty much anything fits with the Matilda. Now that you have that on the field and you have your Barats holding on the front side, they have nice damage. Um, Albert has a lot of leeway room here. Yeah. I mean, they, they need to find some type of way to deal with the, the Lilia. I feel like the Lilia was definitely a pain in the last game for AP. Onik though, banning out quite a few marksmen. I mean, Natan and Nathan still on the board, so maybe AP may be thinking about picking that up, but Onik could pick mm. that up as well. Definitely agree. Do they get the Ruby yeah, though? Solid. So Ruby Rome, Jungle Gwyn, EXP, CC. Nana, they still need a they still need a marksman here. They will get last pick, so I think it's I think it's a solid kind of waiting for that. See what Albert's gonna lock in. Um, Hair still a possibility. Juan Juan still a possibility. Brody, Bruno, Ixia. They go for the Juan Juan. Juan Juan. Which, which is actually not bad here, just because of the nullification of CC with the second skill, right? Uh, so mm -hmm. if if the Gwynny lands on you, you got a way to get away. If the Ruby catches you, you have a way to get away. Um, I don't know if it works against transformations against... Uh, I know it works against DC and Lockdown, but I don't know if it works against the transformation of the Molina. Mm -hmm. I want to know this last pick. What marksman? Is it the Nathan? Is it... Then, oh, the, the Beatrix. I mean... You don't, all you got to do is really click the, the attack button with the SMGs and you're able to hit the Wan Wan, so yeah. I could see it. I could see it. You, also I mean, snipe it. you can also play range against the Wan Wan in the early in the early laning phase with the Sniper. You can build for whether you want to do shred damage against the Barats, whether you want to mm -hmm. do burst damage. You have plenty of options and plenty of outs, so I think it's definitely a flexible, solid pick for the side of AP Brand. It's definitely not a marksman we see all the time, but I definitely don't think she's just like falling off or anything like that. She's definitely viable when the time yeah. is right. Yeah, AP Brand's pulled it out, I think, once or twice before, so... They're they're comfortable with it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And the Wan Wan's wild. And I was talking about Wan Wan like during one of our breaks. I was wondering if uh, if Onik or someone was gonna pull it out because it just was never banned. Mm. And I think it had just come down to seeing how well it can be utilized in team fights. Uh, earlier in the comps, we've seen Wan Wan scale and go crazy. So let's see. Yeah. Well, I think oh. Albert's been the only one to pick up the Wan Wan so far. I don't think any other team has ran it yet. I think he's been like the trademark pick for it, unless it happened in group stages. But here we are, jumping into the land of Dawn. Onik trying to tie things up. AP Bren trying to get out of here early. It's match point once again at the Games of Future Grand Finals. This is AP Bren versus Onik. Yeah, we can already see that AP Bren's kind of rotating early with the Ruby, which is a little wild. I guess maybe trying to help clear the mid lane a little bit faster against uh, Lilia, which is a little understandable. But uh, the passive, they tried. Uh, I know they went for it. Even the crowd got a little loud there. I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love when the crowd interacts with like what's going down. Uh, right now, you can already see that. The pressure on the side of Onik, they they really want to stop and put pressure onto Super Marco. And I think the Matilda is going to be a play here. The Matilda Brats combo uh, is just an overall good combo. It allows the, the jungle to be able to rotate and move fast. And you can already see that Kyrie's putting on the pressure on the enemy jungle. And I mean, Gwyn also has the ability to roam and, and put pressure and to be able to secure jungles, but let's see if paired with the Matilda, they're able to do it quicker on the side of Onik. Wind conditions, what do you think here, slow, Trix? Though. I mean, wind conditions overall, I think both teams scale. Both teams have a pretty uh, a decent late game. You have Albert on the one one. I think something that is to be crucial for the side of uh, for the side of Onik is making sure that Albert has decent space and a decent game. And with the Matilda and with the Barats, they should be able to create ample opportunity for Albert to get something off. I like it. Sans taking a little bit of damage here. Ogwin and Few in the mid side. 
The major thing that everyone's going to have to watch out for is Ogwin with that I'm offended. This guy knows how to make a set yeah. when he needs to. He knows how to make a play when he needs to. Keyboy and Sans both locking in the Purify, so it's definitely a solid answer. Wan Wan has the built-in Purify. So AP Bren, I think one of their win conditions is going to be kind of layering a lot of their attacks. Everyone not blowing their load at once, kind of taking their time with these <laughs> team fights. Yeah. I feel like also Kyrie is going to have to manage those stacks really well. And if AP Bren, you know, disrupts that, it could be a little bit of a problem, but maybe a little bit of an engage. Your boy able to get the knock up onto Ogwen. Sans trying to get out, but not able to. Flap Tizi getting the final hit. First blood for the side of AP Bren. Kyrie decides that's it. We're calling off. Back to your stations. Yeah, but Ogwen doesn't want to let up. Flap Tizi, oh, they're all no. over him. We're going to force him to use the retry here. He's going to be okay, but at least they force that out. AP Bren with that, and Kyle Tizi not using the retry. They're going to try to go for a purple buff steal here. Ooh. I mean, they can, right? I mean, they have the retry. This would be clutch for them. Kyrie Daytona's gets welcome. the Daytona's welcome, though. And the stun. Kaltese takes a lot of damage. Able to get away. Grand Theft Purple. Ogwin <laughs> just dashing through. Kyrie going to be okay. Oh, but mad. still, that is huge. Yeah, he's walking up by himself. He's, he's like, nah, forget he's this, man. You ain't going to steal my whip. <laughs> This ain't no Grand Theft Purple without any consequences. Nah, that was that, that's 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 a good go by the side of AP. They keep up this pressure. I think they're just kind of reverting back to what they did in game one and two. And they're just applying heavy, heavy pressure. Right now, we're not seeing too many rotations. I mean, it's four minutes in with only one kill. We can kind of take a look at some of the items. We see Corrosive Scythe being picked up by Albert, which is clutch. Right now, I think... Uh, ooh, ooh. Flap Tz. A bit of damage on the flap, but flap still. I mean, that's just the CC right there, man. It's like even when you think you got the better, out of nowhere, she's throwing more yo-yos in your face. <laughs> I don't understand how you heal with a yo-yo, but it's there. Wan Wan though, struggling a little bit down here against uh, Super Marco. Oh. Two major happening still. It's one and zero oh, gold at a small deficit Here. for AP Bren, but this is definitely a good spot for them if Super Marco can keep dominating in this top lane and Albert. Having to slow play this, like I said, it's going to be a problem. They need Albert to scale. They need Albert to be able to get some free waves here and be able to get involved in these team fights soon. Oh, a lot of damage on the Keyboy, though. Keyboy Ooh. might just be able to get away from this. Use the Circling Eagle, but no! Taken down, and a kill goes into the pocket of Super Marco. I wonder if Super Marco picked up the Blade of Despair. Because right, he's doing a lot of damage at this point, right? And now the turtle is probably going to be uncontested because you can already see the side of the map. Bravest fighter on the flat, but I think it's going to be too much of a problem. Onik, I like this. They're responding. They know they can't get the turtle, and this is what I was saying before. Can they take something here? Oh, AP Bren takes something themselves, finds Sans. <laughs> Sans, two deaths now, not at the place we want to see Alilia. AP Bren feeling confident in oh themselves. The switch might have been flipped here. I'm wondering how much more aggressive they're going to get. Yeah, I mean, you can already see they're going to, uh, you know, Wario this this tower right here. Oh, no, they backed off. They seen the, the numbers difference was there. Again, I think the side of Onik, they just got to keep this up. Like you were saying, Albert needs to kind of get fed, keep the, the gains coming. And Sons, I mean, going to have to stop dying here. They're, they're definitely taking advantage of it. The Matilda not coming into too big of a play yet. Yeah, definitely being monsters. Kyrie still trying to zone. He's kind of been he's kind of been on his lonesome lately, and that's because Kyrie. I mean, that's because Keyboy has been forced to kind of babysit other areas, move around the map, stay close. to Albert. Luckily, Albert hasn't taken a death yet. That's very important. Few though on this Nana is definitely going to end up being a problem as well. It's going to be hard for Kyrie. He's going to have to watch out for those Molinas because that could be the game changer in a big retribution battle. True. True. And. Uh... I mean, just the pressure. We're, this is like literally just Oof. reliving game one. Like they are just applying so much pressure on Onik and they have to find some type of relief here. But again, I feel like at some point they're keeping, uh, I mean, they're keeping this left tower, which is, it, it's good, right? Albert just has to get a key play on this one one and it can make differences. 
And they're just a little too uh -huh. late there. Yeah, Onik looks for the play pay. nonstop. But AP Bren is constantly answering faster. They know them. They know when they're coming. They feel it out. And like you said, they're just eating up at Onik right now. Kyrie unable to get his last orange buff. They're losing towers in the bot. Here comes another turtle. Last turtle of the game. Key boy. Gonna try to make the roundabout. Not able to get a knock onto anybody. The bombs come down and Kyle T's able to take it. Kyrie taking huge damage. Oh. Unable to even finish the Detona's welcome. The rest of his team not there to help out. He went from a big dino to a tiny dino right there. It was... Big dino AP to a Brin. dead dino. Yeah. <laughs> AP Brin just controlling the field. Turned him into a fossil. <laughs> Onik gonna have to figure out a way to bite back. And I think, I mean, they're controlling it here. I just think at some point we need to see Albert into an engage, but they don't Oof. want to lose him. Oh, they were gonna go, I thought he was going for the for the quick no scope right there. Almost hit Super Marco, definitely becoming a threat. Two, zero, and one, the 360 no scope. <laughs> Trying <laughs> to land down on it American now. Sniper Special. Losing out on the mid side as well. AP Bren looking to close the distance here. Can they clear this wave? Ooh. Oh, Gwen, Poppy, I'm offended, but a lot of damage. On to few, forced backs on, looking for the chase. Does ha doesn't have the black shoes, so can't overcommit, but Boots able to get the land down onto Kyle Teasy. But out comes Nibiru's passion, and Kyrie is forced to back off. A nice crossbow of Tang, but still no finishes for Onik. AP Bren still controlling with a 5k gold lead. Now, if I was on the side of Onik right now, I would just, they, they got to play it tactical at this point, right? Like... Albert's still doing really good. Keyboy hasn't died, but I think he needs to be in a little bit more of a key location to be able to save his team sometimes. Mainly, Sans at this point kind of die and taking a look at some of the items. We do see the, the Demon Hunter sword being picked up by Albert. So could be coming online, but the biggest difference is that Super Marco has the Malefic Roar secured and the Blade of Despair. So the damage is a lot. Oh. Oh, Boots gets pulled back, though, with the I'm offended. There's no way to get the stun, trying to respond. Able to come back using the Guiding Wind. Sans able to pop the Black Shoes. AP Bren. Oh, snap. Close everything they can. Oh, the on it. Do they want to try to push this over? Nobody falls in such a class, and only teams like this could pull something like that off. Flap Teasy still holding down the front line. Kyrie, here comes the conceal play. Watch for Ogwen, watch for Flap. Kyrie taking a lot of damage here. Ogwen gonna get locked up, misses the I'm offended. Boots misses the stun. Super Marco looking for an angle. Kyrie able to take the first Lord of the game there. They lose Sans in Boots though. Very similar to last game. They're able to control the objective, but AP Bren may be able to crack, crack through this tower. Yeah, I mean, this is good pressure by AP Bren, but Onik able to secure it. I feel like it's good. Look at Albert, possibly gonna be able to make a play. Maybe on a flap. Do they attempt it? They have Keyboy with them. Ah. No, they're just going to play a safe back off. They got the Lord. They stall out a little bit more, but how long can they continue to play the stall game for AP Bren with a dominating lead right now? Yeah, and we can already see Super Marco is just coming online. The damage is devastating. When the SMGs collide into any of the team fights, it's just... Ah, it's too much. Really, right now, if I'm on the side of Onik, they're, they're doing what I would do, right? Just keep Albert farming. Keep him going. He's 1-0-0. Zero and zero. Really haven't seen any crossbow tanks coming out just yet, but when they do, it's probably going to devastate AP Bren. So I feel like that's the biggest thing we have to watch out for. I, we don't see a win of nature being picked up uh, by Super Marco, but we do see by Albert. So again, this is what I was saying. This could be a turning grace. Ooh. Still play from Ogwen, not able to find too much. Kyle TZ dashes under the tower. Onyx still just trying to defend here. Albert playing the off lanes, doing it well, just farming up, still hasn't taken a death. So yes, you're right, that's huge. Um, but AP Bren, man, this is this is exactly where they want to be. And at this point, they feel comfortable. They're just going to kind of freeze up the lanes a little bit, slow play things, yeah. hold their gold lead, and wait for Onik to step out a little bit too much. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he oh, missed both he shots. <laughs> <laughs> 
I feel like if you had the SMG right there, Sans would have been panicking, yeah, but... I mean, Sans panicked anyways. He's like, black shoes, black shoes! <laughs> <laughs> was not messing around. I mean, I think it was smart Sniper if he stayed shots. there. It could have been bad, but either way, like, yeah. you see the snipe come out, you're like, oh, I gotta go. Because he don't know who else is in the bush. Kyrie. A little bit of a skirmish here at the purple buff. Kyle Teasy. Looking for an angle as well. Super Marco gonna back off as Few stays Ooh. behind. Taking a lot of Ooh. damage. Few in trouble. Forced to use a flicker there. Takes a little bit of burn, but the passive does not proc. AP Bren still in control. Yeah, I mean, I think they're they're in a little bit of control, right? I mean, right now, Onik able to, you know, control a little bit of the right lane and the turtle area. I feel like this is gonna be a key play. Do they go opt for a concealed play? Kind of how do they approach this here? Utilities available for both sides. Only thing is that uh, Nana does not have that flicker, so could be huge. You can kind of see Pew staying into the back line, trying to keep them at bay. Onik, what's your play? I don't know. I mean, they, they do have control over the pit, but the last time I felt like they had a little bit of control over the pit as well. They don't want to step too far out. They, they can't really take full control mm. because if Boots gets to the other side of the river, he just gets torn apart. If Keyboy steps to the other side of the river, he just gets torn apart. So they kind of have to play this half and Ooh. half game. Zahn's in trouble, goes down a mega kill into the hands of Super Marco. Onik aborts oh, mission. They're going to back <laughs> off. They're going to give this Lord over. It's 25 seconds till Sans is back up, and AP Bren isn't going to wait that long. Uh, I mean, it looks like they, they pulled back a little bit to maybe attack again. Lord Low. Oh, the Molina Blitz oh, does land on to Kyrie. Super Marco able to secure the Lord. Kyle TZ does use a retribution as well for it. Onik unable to make a move. Keyboy utilized the Purify to, to stay out of the I'm offended. It could have been really bad for Onik at that engage. Again, taking a look at some of the items, we still don't see a Wind of Nature being picked up by Super Marco, but the damage is there. There it is. Wind of Nature secured. This could be a tough go here, as we have not seen Albert use one crossbow of Tang. He used one, but it didn't do anything. Did he? Oh, God. He used one, <laughs> but it did not do anything. Oh, nice. I'm offended on a Kyrie's gonna get knocked up by the violent Requiem and he's taken low. Kyrie's still on the map though, able to just survive. No members from either team have dropped yet, but the inhibitor has fallen. Albert trying to get the swift plays, move around. Oh, Does get the crossbow tang mark, but he's not able to do it. Forced to bounce back to the team. Kyrie gonna get the tone as well. Come bash him against the wall. Flop Teasy takes a little bit of damage, but the I'm offended locks on to Kyrie. Kyrie taking too much. Ooh. Can he survive this? A little bit of play. Kyle TZ dashes back onto the team. AP Bren got what they were looking for, but still nobody drops. And it's just insane to think about two teams like this can have a battle that long <laughs> and nobody seconds. dies. That was crazy. Lords barreling down. Sustainability from both teams. And that just goes to show like the micro play coming from both sides are just so good. And to be honest, I was su suspecting Super uh, Super Marco to actually be dealing some like critical damage, but Onyx just able to eat it. Oh. Gonna lose another purple. He sees no buffs this man. game. Kyle T is always there. The man of Kyrie's nightmares right now. <laughs> just retry after retry after retry. <laughs> <laughs> Kyrie even has to, he even tried using the retry, but he's still unable to get it. Kyle Teasy and the team showing pure dominance. Yeah, I mean, there right now, AP Brins. Yeah, this is what I was saying, right? Like in the early stage, if, if Kyrie's not able to keep up these stacks, it's going to uh -oh. be uh -oh. a big problem. Oh, no! Marco! Oh. Albert, why? Oh, no. Marco's waiting for him at the shotgun loaded. Bow, bow, boom. Albert's gone, and now AP Bren smells the blood. Here comes the Bren effect. Flap Teasy gonna flap on in. 
Ogwin looking for something as well. Kyrie just trying to defend with the rest of the team, but boom! Oh Super Marco takes out another. The target is locked, and they're taken down. Sans and Albert are off the map. The two major damage dealers is AP Bren going to try to finish this out here. One big mistake to finish things off. Kyrie taking way too much damage. Keyboy looking for the knockup. Boots into the backside oh. with the bravest fighter. They're just trying to defend, but the minions keep on coming. Ladies and gentlemen, AP Bren undefeated, undisputed from world champions to the games of the future. They take it all. And now they are the Fidgetal Games champion. And you can see how happy they are. They're standing on chairs. Look, at, I really wish I could hear the crowd. It's probably going wild at this point. Man. I love it. I love it. And one of the things I love most about seeing AP Bren is their reactions yeah, every yeah. single time. <laughs> These guys are the best in the world right now. Like the excitement on yeah. these guys are just overpowering all of their physical <laughs> they're just I mean, well, they're just too happy i understand it though and that's the thing right it's 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 not just about it's not just about the money it's not just about the trophy it's it's about the win and and right now these guys are feeling themselves man it's two huge championships back to back ap bren <laughs> has done it over and over again and they feel great about it look at them i mean that's another notch in the belt there another huge win for ap bren and for the philippines themselves these guys are the best in the world and it's just undoubted ap bren able to set off the year of 2024 with a blast taking one of the biggest international tournaments that we've seen by storm and just man you could just